everybody. So it's that time again. Just got back from seeing It Chapter 2. So we got two years after the first It. Um, and this story is literally the second part of the first It movie and it takes place 27 years to the date um, from the previous film and it shows our beloved Losers Club all grown up and um, follows the story of the original novel and also the TV miniseries that came out in 1990. So it Chapter 2, it was uh, definitely something that was pretty darn good. I found um, high expectations with this movie. I um, was looking really forward to seeing it too. And um, basically after seeing the first It, I was just hoping that they were gonna make a sequel. And if so, I wanted to see it right away. So it took us two years to get it, but it's here. It's finally here, guys. Much to be praised about. Um, so let's talk about this movie. It too is just one of those things where um, I found myself really enjoying the cast. I think one of the really um, big deals about this movie, a big pro, is I felt the chemistry of all the adult actors was there. There's particularly this one scene where they're at the um, Chinese restaurant and it's a reunion of them coming back to Derry, Maine. And I just felt like watching that they were not acting. I felt like they were just real people and that they were real friends and just the connections were amazing. I don't know what they did to establish that and show that on film and screen and all that but it was there guys and I was like that scene alone just kind of like made me go all right I'm in this movie and it had nothing to do with you know it being scary or horror or really anything with the movie it just showed like this bond that they had and you could just tell that you know as they're visiting each other their memories are starting to come back and they're just remembering how their friendship was during childhood growing up so um I did find myself though watching it too there was obviously those flashback scenes of when they were kids from the first one. So I love the fact that pretty much, yeah, all of them came back from the original, which, you know, obviously is a must. And um, I found it very interesting, like how they filmed it, because it's like, did they film these kids like during it one for it two, uh, right after it one? Was there, um, you know, types of creative reshoots? I think I did read somewhere that for some scenes, they had actually do the de-aging uh, CGI technology that they did with a lot of those Marvel movies. So I was like, that's kind of cool, you know? So it works on kids. And I found that they all looked, you know, like they did from, you know, 2017's movie. So I was like, that's awesome. Like, you know, just technology has come such a long way. And I'm just, you know, really impressed with everything. Um, so it's just really cool to see. And um, I wanted more of that. Like, I missed seeing the kids like the kids are the best part about the movie not anything not take anything away from the adults i just felt like the children were just you know i just i, I like seeing them like i found myself watching it too every time they show a, a, a back a flashback or you know some part you know in their childhood i was like that's what i was excited about like i was excited to see the kids again because they did such a good job in this first movie and it really by watching this movie made me like appreciate them more so that was kind of like, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, you got actors like James McAvoy and Jessica Chasting, you know, coming as the adults um, that were awesome. And, you know, they did a good part, but I just felt like none of them really shined like the kids did. Um, so I just found that kind of a little interesting, but I figured that's how it was going to be because I felt like the best part of the original it miniseries that came out in the 90s. The kids stuff, all the kids scenes were the best. I don't know what it is about it. Is it just because since they're kids, they're more vulnerable, they're more likely to be scared than adults? Who knows? But I also like the fact that, you know, when they were kids in the new It movies, it's in the 80s and I just love that era and I just love how, you know, it just feels more nostalgic and it's a good feeling. So that aside, I um I digged it. Like I, I thought there were some really cool scenes in it too. Um, I, I really enjoy the actor who portrays Pennywise. I feel like he does a fantastic job, especially um, how good Tim Curry did, because that was like the best part of the original It movies was um, his performance. But I really felt like, you know, the guy that did Pennywise um, in this new generation just really stepped it up and just became that character. Um, so there is no complaints there. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I, I liked the clown more in the first movie than the second one. 
There were a lot of pacing and timing issues with it too that I found myself that I was kind of bored. I know it's almost a three hour movie and you know, obviously if the movie's gonna be like, you know, amazing and not even feel like the length and I'm fine with it being as long as possible. I was actually happy that they made the movie longer because I felt like they were really taking their time and wanting to put everything in there to make a really good conclusion and climax of these two movies. But it did feel very lagging. It did feel um, not as tight as it should have been. Um, the first one, I never felt that. I just felt like I was just really enjoying everything. Um, so I guess that's a con for it too, is just like, it, it felt the length for a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a particular scene where each character has to find a relic um, themselves, by themselves, and they kind of go on these like little journeys, and each time they go on the journey, obviously it, the, you know, monster, demonic presence, creature, whatever you want to call it, ship shifting, um, would encounter them, and they would have to like face their fears and overcome. Those sound really cool, but it just wasn't the delivery that I wanted. Um, another con was, I believe, the climax, which is another thing about it too that I was worried about because the 1991, that was like the worst part because you know you see the giant spider and it was just super cheesy and terrible. And I found it very funny that in uh, It too, they kept referring as they were talking to each other like um, because you know, Bill, he's the writer, he's a screenplay writer, um, they would always make fun of how the books that he wrote, that the endings were like really, you know, terrible endings. So it's kind of like a nod off to them like realizing, hey, you know, the ending, a lot of fans did not enjoy it. So they just kind of like made fun of themselves, which I really appreciated. So I was like, oh wow, they're gonna really change it up, like do something crazy. Um, they did do it slightly different, obviously. It was a much better climax than the original It, but it still was like, uh, no. Nah. Like, I loved how they did it in the first It with the kids, with It, the clown. But the way they did it with um, the adults and stuff, I wasn't feeling it. I was like getting actually kind of bored, and I wanted it to be completely something different. And there's just this whole segue of... Um, something that they were trying to do to collect these items to put in this, you know, type of um, Native American like box thing and that whole part of the story was just baloney It did not do anything for the movie It just put them on the side quest just to like have more screen time and put more minutes on the movie And it didn't pan out to do anything uh, for the characters or for the monsters So stuff like that was like, you know, kind of like a waste and I felt like they were trying to make it a twist thing, but it just didn't happen right. And it was just like, while you're watching, you're going, okay, what was the point of that whole, you know, segue of the movie? Um, but I guess they just want to put layers and have these characters' lives mean more, especially if something happens to them, you want to care for them. But I just feel like they didn't need to do that. Um, I like the fact too that there is a scene of a cameo of Stephen King. So I really appreciate that he was actually able to be part of these movies in some, you know, fast, you know, cameo type of way. And it was, you know, it was cool. It was just nice to see that. Um, Cause it's just the care and the attention of, you know, who made the movies, uh, the stories and stuff. And they just, you know, um, they all kind of ensemble together nicely. Um, I just, I don't know, overall, I feel like the first one, it just, it was better. I liked the first one more. Um, nothing to say anything about the second one. The second one's good, it's just not great. And it left me kind of a little bummed. Maybe that's because it's actually all over. Um, the conclusion for this movie, um, it, I think it did the best it could and it was fine. I wasn't like, oh man, that was awesome how they did that, but it wasn't terrible. I just really like the first one more. The first one's definitely more um, rewatchable. Like I feel like I could rewatch it over and over again. Um, especially if like during Halloween or fall season. It too, I feel like I can watch it maybe one more time if I did like a marathon, like watched it and then it too, and then I'd be done. Like I don't feel like it too is um, rewatchable type of film, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, I guess that's just how the movie is. But all in all, it's all good. Um, it's still worth watching guys. If you're a huge fan of the book, the um, original It that came out, and then obviously the reboot of this It, definitely go see it. Um, it's definitely worth watching. I highly recommend it. It just didn't flow as high as I wanted to, but then again, my expectations were just so high with this movie, so it's just kind of hard to 
you know, meet those when they're that high. But all in all, it's worth it, guys. So go check out It Chapter 2. And um, yeah, enjoy. And I, um, you know, look forward to the next movie talk. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Take care. All right, bye-bye.